The Music Executive Award is presented to an executive in any department and in any genre, and this next recipient is a by any means necessary brother. Based on the, the number of ads he received in the journal, I think Lionel Reidenauer. <laughs> was the people's choice too. Let's check it out. Successfully promoting records in five distinct decades is no easy feat. Yet, Lionel Reidenauer has done it effortlessly. Growing up in Ohio, music was a constant for Lionel. But since he didn't sing or play instruments, he never imagined he'd one day be at the center of it. That changed in 1984 when a friend asked Lionel, then working in the food beverage industry, to promote a small record that landed on both Power 106 and KJLH. An originator of the modern day street team concept, Lionel duplicated his success with such acts as MC Hammer, regionally and nationally. In a matter of time, he moved in-house, first to a West Coast regional position with Capital, and then, thanks to an intro to Clive Davis from Hiram Hicks, he kicked off 1993 in national promotions with Arista. There he worked on a plethora of projects with Arista and his labels LaFace, Bad Boy, Rowdy, and more to help propel numerous artists and groups, including Tony Braxton, Usher, TLC, Outkast, Biggie, 112, Faith Evans, Mace, as well as the Bodyguard soundtrack to the top of the charts. In the early 2000s, he played a similar role at Virgin with Big John Platt before returning to his indie roots, blowing up artists on such small labels as Malico, Trill Entertainment, and thanks to Game Records. Taking Clarence Avant and wife Keena's advice to be his own boss, he founded Anchor Promotions in 2013, shrewdly navigating streaming to now add Rich Homie Quan, YFN Lucci, Little Dicky, and Little Dirk to his rich legacy. For his longevity and continued impact is why Lionel Reidenauer is the 2023 Living Legends Foundation Music Executive Award honoree. Welcome Board of Directors member, Tony Winger. Good evening, everyone. Most people think that uh, Street Team started with uh, some, some guys from uh, Indiana uh, with a group called KISS. But for those of us in this room, Street Team started with a brother named Lionel Rodenauer. And I only hope that I'll be able to play golf as good as he does. So ladies and gentlemen, my friend, my colleague, Lionel Rodinow. <sighs> good evening, everyone. Um, it's uh, truly a pleasure to be here. I'd like to thank God for the fellowship and uh, being able to see everyone uh, together. It, it really is just really a special opportunity. Um, I'd like to thank David, uh, Ray, Pat, uh, the late Barnell Johnson, the entire committee um, in terms of getting this honor this evening. It's also uh, really special for me to be inducted with Walt, Tracy, Ed, Shanti, Rocky, uh, Vernon, and Nelson. Uh, it's a very special class and I'm very honored to be a part of it. Um, before I get into, you know, the music part of it, I think the thing that's really important for me um, is my family. And um, I would like to acknowledge them, daughter Marielle, daughter Nikki, granddaughter Brooklyn, and my lovely wife, Kina. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> you, you truly make me and my life better, and thank you for being the balance. I really mean that. All right. Um, I also have another special thanks I want to shout out uh, to two gentlemen that are, I would not be here uh, today without them. And that's Tommy Marshall and Greg Johnson. There was a point in time in my life when I didn't believe in myself and they believed in me. And I thank you both, brothers for life. I appreciate you. Um, I guess part of this award is, um, you know, being good at what you do. And 
I'm only as good as the team that I'm surrounded with. And my team on a weekly basis, Craig, Antonio, Daniel, Donnie, you guys are absolutely the best. You're there with everybody. I appreciate you guys so much. And I know it may seem from time to time that I'm very harsh on you or whatever, but it is only for us to be the best that we can possibly be. And I think we show that week in, week out. They know we out here. Okay? So, you gentlemen stand up. <clears throat> A special thanks to Lester Pace. Lester Pace and I had a conversation oh, about 10, 11 years ago uh, in Mississippi and talked about what the future could look like in terms of what this business could be, how it could work, what, 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 what would be the things that would be available to do um, and not just going the same old, oh, I want to be an indie route. And that helped transform to what Anchor is today and I thank you, my brother, really, really special. All of the great executives that I work with throughout the years. Um, I want to start with a, a lady who, I, I don't get a chance to say this enough to her, but uh, Barbara Lewis. <laughs> Barbara Lewis taught me how to work a radio station from the janitor to the program director to the owner, everyone. I mean, and, and she had me take notes. She had me do things that, you know, a lot of other, you know, record executives probably wouldn't have you do, but I wouldn't be who I am and how I am, and I would not be able to help my team and do the things that we do without that from her. I really appreciate that, Barbara. Um, Keith Fry, Michael Horton, Doug Daniel, David Linton, Gene Riggins, all so very, very special to me. I also want to shout out a couple executives that um, I had the privilege of reaching down and, and helping them grow, and they've grown, gone on to have better careers than myself. Juliet Jones, Benny Pugh, Craig Davis, you guys are all very, very special to me. I've also been very fortunate, you know, saying as good as we think we are as promo people, it's truly about the music at the end of the day. You gotta give me something to work with. And I have been blessed. The icons that I have worked with, Clive Davis, Sean Combs, Dallas Austin, Jermaine Dupri, and of course, my friend, my partner, one of the last great record men, and also hometown from Cincinnati, Ohio, Mr. L.A. Reed. <laughs> um, partners, um, can't, can't do it without them. Um, wanna thank uh, Warner Records, uh, Ron, uh, it's been amazing working with you. And, and you know, seeing you grow, it's, uh, you're doing an amazing work over there. Uh, Red Bull, uh, Strange Music, Alamo, Encore, Columbia, Tracy, Epic, thank you so much. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are wonderful partners uh, as well, uh, as well as uh, uh, BMG. Um, I also, you know, one other person I forgot, I, I have to go back on this. Step Johnson. Uh, although, listen, y'all know, there was no better hunter out there when it come to go get it than Step Johnson was. And I, and I really thank him for instilling that hunger in me to go out there and be the best. Um, I also want to acknowledge a, a young man who's not here tonight, but um, one who I think has already been a past honoree and someone that I believe the, uh, the future of this business is going to be uh, based on. And that's the uh, CEO of uh, 
Gamma Entertainment, uh, Larry Jackson. What Larry is doing is going to be something that's groundbreaking. He has the vision. You know, you talk about what we can be, what we can do uh, as black executives and the opportunities that are going to be available to us. What Larry is doing right now with Gamma is special. Already in a partnership with Usher and LA with Mega, uh, it's, it's just amazing what has happened in just a short amount of time. To give you a perspective, you know, we all about these charts, right? Well, when I looked this week, number one at R&B for eight weeks in a row with October London, number one with Usher this week, Gamma, Mega, we are here. And that's just six months. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> um, I also just want to take a second, um, and I know we did the in memoriam, but I just have to say this. I miss my friend Clarence. I miss my friend Jesus, and I miss my friend DJ. Those gentlemen were amazing and meant so very much to me. Um, we laughed, uh, we talked, and they were so helpful in guiding me and helping me to be able to be here today. Um, so I just needed to, to get that off my chest and, and, and say that. And you know, the role that Clarence played you know, as that godfather, um, the one thing that you know, I, I feel that's still covered with us. We have John Platt. We have L.A. Reid. We have, we have uh, um, other executives that are out here now that are ready to take and pick up that mantle. And I just want to thank you brothers for being strong and being here for all of us. Give them a round of applause, please. Um, Got another special shout out, Mr. Troy Marshall. Y'all have no idea. The booklet that you see and the reason you get to see my smiling face all over the place is because I put that man in charge of going out there and finding everybody that we ever did any business with. <laughs> Friends, family, all of the above. And Troy, you are amazing. I love you, man, and I appreciate what you did for these for the scholarships. That's really what it's all about at the end of the day. These kids are going to benefit this year, next year, and beyond. Thank you so much. I think Vernon hit on a lot of the things that I wanted to talk about in terms of the industry. Um, you know, when I look out at this room, I see trillions of records sold. The one thing I don't see is expiration dates on nobody's forehead, okay? We are here. There's knowledge in this room. Ron, you need to meet Ray Harris because for a lot of the executives out here, you don't understand. There was a time when we were kings, okay? And when those departments got cut and all the rest of it, it was, it was systematic. It was on purpose. They knew what they were doing. They're trying to cut it off. Don't, don't trade promotions for power, okay? There are things that we need to do, and one of those things is make sure we get back control of the music, okay? We don't have cash money anymore. We don't have LaFace in the sense that they're in these major, major label houses. We need to bring it back, and we need to support those entrepreneurs. We need to support the music. Lawyers, when you sit down and you're making the deal, look around. You see what, you, what, 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 what Vernon said about going through the, and, and looking to see are there people that look like you at that department, at that company. It matters. That's ultimately where the power lies. I believe that the future is bright. I believe that our music will always be ahead. We just need to go ahead and get a, a hold of it, control it, and be able to move ourselves. Thank you very much.